Okay, it's around two. Uh, I would want to go and call one. This one here. And I cannot play much of it because are you trying to get crazy with they're gonna block me a video don't you know i'm local then it's not gonna do nothing good <laughs> to a google that's a google ladies and gentlemen look what is asking me how can i take this shit seriously anymore at all look at this ladies and gentlemen is asking me to add back up a second step the two-step verification. You know, ladies and gentlemen, you know what the fuck this is? This is my main account for my blog, The Ulcer Times. This is the fucking Google. This shit here. What you see here, in fact, belongs to this email address. So you please explain to me. Because earlier, I can still understand it was this password here. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, what the fuck is Google doing with this kind of stuff? What is this shit all about? So Google went ahead and removed whatever is already set as a security password of my Gmail account. That's what that is. And you know, ladies and gentlemen, you know what this stuff is related to? In a little bit, I'm going to demonstrate to you. This, exactly like this, has been going on already for 27 years. Every time I get the proof, about the crime against me in Eastern Europe, it's always Americano. It's always somebody from overseas, from Londonia, somebody from abroad that runs to the rescue, that runs to suggest it's a collateral murder. It's not only a conspiracy from the Eastern Europe. And this was the assurance that Americans and Britons and Germans have given to the Eastern Europeans regarding this case. So they would not face criminal charges. And this is basically what we have. This is a security checkup for something, obviously, for such an important shit like a blog, the Ulster Times, I would never ever compromise. Obviously already is entered inside of the system. Ladies and gentlemen, there you go. It's asking me the same like for the other email address. A security checkup. The two-step verification. Do you believe this shit? For this shit to be even... Even crazier. For this shit to be even crazier, because he's asking me this because I have just replaced a password. A few minutes ago, I was the one who actually did confirm as the second step for me to log in into this very this account on this browser. I did. It's right here. I'm logged in. Look at it. No, 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 no. Do you see it here? It says Inbox Bastian Alser. It's right here. I don't know what is he going to do. But it was logged inside in this browser. And so, <laughs> yeah, it is me. That is correct. It is me. And so I just did change the password. And before I did log into this account, I did confirm also with a sign-in confirmation. Well, let me see if... Um, if I still have this, this stuff on the phone, no, it's not on the phone anymore. It's gone. Yeah, it's actually something that you tap the phone and you confirm that it's you trying to log in inside of the account. So this is a little bit confusing stuff, uh, especially when, I'll, when I change the password. It's ask me to add the phone number. This is very, very confusing stuff. Uh, the phone number two, of course, the phone number two was added to... Okay, so I tell you what, I tell you what, this is very good stuff. 
this is very very good stuff so I like this stuff very 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 much let me demonstrate we're gonna go through the whole thing now because I see that Google is doing the stuff that otherwise I would not take time to take care a little earlier I had that problem and I know so that when they bombard you with a lot of problems they always do with a variety of issues they never do with a single issues and then they give you peace when they bombard you with the problems like everything goes wrong at once basically and so today we have a Google day and so what we gonna do what I'm gonna do right now we're gonna go here and guess what we're gonna go to the recycle bin it's called recycle bin this one here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go here date delete it and we're gonna return this we're gonna we're gonna send this right back into the folder from what I did deleted this just to make sure is it actually possible that this stuff is still here uh, no but that's a good stuff because at least it demonstrates to me what exactly this video look like so according to what I see here okay um, let me explain let me enter interpretate this for you again right because this is this is how this is okay uh, this computer the way the way it does you see the date here date deleted and date modified uh, it's different dates that one would enter right so because I just deleted this video a few minutes ago I know so that with this issue is also the same thing so now what I gotta do is there you go okay so this here basically is what okay audio file and so then we have then we also have this example now down so this here then this would be actually MTV and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna restore this back and for me to properly trace because you see I just deleted this I did not anticipate this is what's gonna happen next but thanks God I have not deleted this completely out of the system and so now this gives me actually a chance for the overview of what exactly have I just gone through I've gone through this thing here so now the only thing I have to do is play okay, this okay it's video. around it's you, you know. um, Google went ahead straight to you the security checkup okay the two step verification uh, what I'm going to exactly I am seeing going. right now okay. is basically recording myself. I didn't know that's also possible, but okay, I learned something. New okay, about. and we're going to go to the next issue right now. Ahead, the next here. issue is this one here. Look at it. Point one. This, this is, is the next okay, issue. I'll be lucky Look enough. at this. Very, very nice. Uh, this is this is exactly what I have to say to you right now. And yes, trust me. Very, if very I don't nice. Time, and the only thing I will do right you now, the video. That's I'm going to exactly go ahead, I'm going to confirm this myself, on my yeah. phone. I'll check this out. See if I'll be lucky enough to get uh, this. Just tap on the phone so you can log yourself and in. Okay, so I'll do exactly again, this thing Windows here. Windows NT 6.1. And uh, off we go. Is boom, boom, Windows boom. 7. I am actually now logged in. A bit confusing, in. but there that's go. how the Google I'm does the ship. Inside. That's and the uh, let's see exactly what is that's going exactly on here. That's exactly also the browser. That's exactly this browser here. Is asking now to verify again it's me. So that's pretty cool. Can next bust you know, sign into Windows. But this stuff here. Things that actually do make Your password was percent browser. 
So yes, the possibility While is then sure, that the instead it would account, change me the security password the for other accounts, the email. A Google uh, actually for this email you see right here for the also times gmail uh, password on this account called also times that's for the videos and not for the main principal okay. blogger account and so then at this here these are the settings for this very account no I'm not kidding with this stuff these are the settings and you can see here we're not going to do any of that and so we I want to see what kind of here. settings did I have a few minutes ago we are going to see this stuff that's here. That's what we are going through right now. The check activity, okay. You see, it's a good no, stuff that go I right did video recorded this stuff. The new sign-in windows. That is, in fact, me. Take security checkup. Okay, let's take the security checkup. Add the screen lock on your la 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 la. Look, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to stop this right here. The two-step verification says right there, right? You can see, ladies and gentlemen, it says it's on. The two-step verification, we'll go back. It says it's on for this account. For the Boston Ulcer, gmail.com, it says it's on. Now, I was going to delete this video, but now I changed my mind, and I'm going to actually keep one as a reference to this video. So that you can see that the two-step is on. Well, this was just a login prior to the one I'm doing right now. The two-step verification, you see, the two-step verification is on. So what exactly is Google trying to say to me? Because under this two-step verification that is on is also my telephone number that should be listed. And Google should definitely be asking me about one. Google did not ask me about one. Even earlier... The only thing that Google did was ask me to tap on the phone. Now, the Google is claiming, after I did change the password, that not even two-step verification is on. So let's see exactly what Google has on his mind, on its mind. I started to get sensitive about this stuff because the information I enter on the blogger, on my blog, is constantly being modified. In other words, it's being edited by someone. That's why, especially, I got touchy and I became sensitive about this issue and determined to come to the end with it. Let's see exactly what's going on. What I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to use this like a second, uh, second to this option right here to log myself in, where right now, the Google is claiming that the two-step verifications you were able to see was not on and is actually asking about that adding the telephone number. Now that's fucking crazy. And earlier it suggested that the two-step verification was on, but it would not inquire about the two-step verification as I demonstrated, not explained on me. So what exactly is this dude saying here about two-step verification? As you see here, the voice or text message, again, number under which this account is listed is already been even verified by the Google alone. You can see it's right here. However, I have to repeat, a little earlier, it would not verify my login through the number, even despite the two-step verification which was on. So what is the point here? The number is here. So why was right now asking me about how do you set then a two-step verification on when everything is you set, but the Google basically is refusing to provide the services which one is advertising. It's actually greatly misleading the security features. And because of the such steps, I believe the information entered on my blog is being edited, modified by someone. So this does not fit exactly to me. I don't feel good about this stuff. That's the point. Add more second steps to verify it's you. No, I'm fine. I'm really fine. The telephone, and if the tel if it would have sent me um, the message verification, that would be just fine with me, but it didn't. 
Okay, the verification codes are sent by text message. No, they're not. They were not sent to me anywhere. Verification codes are sent by the text message. You know, so the two-step verification in this case would be my tapping on the phone, that it's me trying to get to log in, and maybe probably prior to this, getting a pass, a number, to this very telephone number, right? Because one verification is a telephone, a device that I would use to verify it's me, and then a second verification should be a number that will be sent to me and never was sent. So this does not work, ladies and gentlemen. And he keeps fucking asking me about, as you were able to see yourself, to turn the two-step verification on. So how the hell do you explain this? So let's see what else do we have here. Google prompts after you enter a password. On Google prompts, the security is sent to every phone where you assigned. Just tap the notification to review and sign in. This is exactly what I did to stop getting prompts and tra 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 tra. And so, I don't know what to say about this. So, this was not exactly a good impression that um, your devices that you assigned in. This is the device that you were able to see. I earlier have tapped in to one. Okay, now because I did change a password, I did change the password. It appears that it did. It appears to me what logged me out, or I don't even understand what this is all about. Okay. So let's do that. There you go. Okay, so do you folks get any of this stuff here? I don't get it. I got to say that I do not understand any of this. This is confusing. Let's see what's going to happen once I try to log myself in here so that you can see this. Are uh, this guy going to actually ask me what it should? It should ask me for a device. And now actually properly is asking me for verification. Finally, for verification code sent to my phone. No, finally. This was not the case a little earlier. This definitely, as you were able to see, and I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play to you one more time so you can see yourself with your own eyes. Definitely was not the case a little earlier. So this is a total mess. This extras from Google are not appreciated from my end because um, maybe it definitely was a time for me to change the password. Um, but then again, if you want person to change the password, uh, you just force him to change the password. Uh, maybe this was the way to provoke in me the initiative to change the password. And believe me, I, I wanted to change the password already a while ago, and somehow it did change me for the account. And I'm also confused about that issue because of what you see here I'm using. I'm using this as a profile, and I don't know how that happened to it. But it appears like that, despite everything, as you see here for the also times, uh, it really did happen so that it, it, it instead it changed me the password for the also times. So this stuff can be confusing, but okay. I mean, it's just... Uh, Proven wrong. Google did mistake. Google did the second mistake this evening already. These are quite a big ass mistakes. Well, let's just call this a mistake.
see, the thing is about when you go through so many issues, uh, you are you become unsure about what should you see as a mistake and what you should see as not a mistake. It becomes confusing. Because when you want to report something to the people on the Internet, uh, this stuff can be really confusing because there's a lot of other stuff that is confusing, and so you don't know anymore what what you should, um, you know, what is this all about? No, never mind. Let's go, and uh, is the next thing I want to do is basically see this stuff here. Okay, this, well, basically this sounds to me like legitimate stuff. NT6.1, I learned, is actually, uh, okay, that's a Windows 7, and uh, pretty much you can see that, <clears throat> you can see that everything else, it should be okay. Uh, what you see here, right under the Apple and stuff, when you see like a different, uh, this kind of stuff, like an internet provider address, uh, I would say I don't recognize this one here. This was like a four days ago. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea how this one came up about, uh, especially in the Windows. And so what I need to see is I need to see Google. We're going to do it like this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then this is another problem here I see now. Uh, that is a problem I see now. Okay, now I see that something is really, really wrong here. There is a lot of stuff that's wrong. More than what I... Damn it. More than what I suppose, ladies and gentlemen, I don't even have Google Chrome. Yeah, you, you understand what I'm trying to say? You see the programs that I have that I use for browsing. That's basically Opera. It's Microsoft Edge. It's Firefox, as you see right there. And what exactly the hell did I notice right there? Uh, I noticed the internet service provider address that I don't know how to identify. I'm not familiarized with. And I noticed a use of Google Chrome, which I did not use. I don't use Google Chrome. That's basically where the biggest problem is with this story. Or I say with this short story. Look at it. It says here, Browser Chrome. Browser Chrome. Windows NT Apple, but this is the same thing. Windows 7 Apple Kit. Yeah, but that's exactly the same, the same, the same, the same, the same thing. Okay, and it says also here Chrome, and it also says here Chrome. That's probably Microsoft Edge. That's what that is. Okay, so how about this game? Where the hell this address came from? Internet provider address where? How? Four days ago. Four days ago, four days ago, I did not use no, I didn't use no proxy, I didn't use anything like this. So this is, this is, this is, um, how is this? Okay. No, okay. This is a little bit shy. And so let's see this kind of stuff here. Hang on, I'm trying to understand that. No, 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 no. Okay, in that case, okay. If it's so damn shy, and let's see this stuff here. It 
Skok na glavno osebino pomoč za funkcije zredi za, potrebi, za posebnimi potrebami in tako naprej. Ja. Uh, and where the hell did this come from? Yeah. I don't think I'm a person with a special needs. I don't actually remember I would copy paste that stuff, but if I continue with the stuff like you don't see that. I might actually become a person with a special needs. It doesn't even say anywhere anything about people with a special needs. So where the hell that came from? Uh, yeah. Maybe I should use a Google Chrome. Uh, how the hell is this that it's not showing absolutely anything under these numbers here when you Google this stuff? Wow. I'm confused a little bit. Hmm. I need to find out from someone that knows a little bit about the internet if this is a regular. Okay. It's a client, google.com client Avast A3. Okay, and now it's this thing here, and it says the safe search that is on, and it says explicit filter. And now the ser safe search is now off. And we go back here and we go back to a client of us A3. I don't know how that got in there. And uh, here we are. And that's basically in the middle of the nowhere. So this is, I don't know. Okay, it looks like it did came up with some results when it comes to joke, humor, if you would google ladies and gentlemen this kind of stuff would you get the same thing like I do? Yeah, the T2 is the internet provider I'm using, so I don't know. I don't have no about this. Okay. Okay, it appears that this also was my number. So just, uh, just in case, what I'm going to do, because I am going to trash that stuff, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead Very and nice. play the whole thing. And the only thing I will do right now, 
I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to confirm this on my phone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dispose this into the I'll be lucky enough to get this. And indeed, I am Windows NT 6.1. That is a Windows 7. A bit confusing, but that's how the Google does the shit. And uh, let's see exactly what is going on here. Nevertheless, I'm glad that two signs in or whatever verification is on. I don't know the cause safety feature is on. Um, I, I prefer telephone number verification over tapping a phone as a device. Okay, I Teacher. see here January 16. Bastian, take a next step in your Windows by confirming your Google account settings. Security load, alert, filler, and security alert. It is email, duck, it changed, in fact, exactly this password here. This was the password I had a problem with that no that card. Here. We're not going to do any of that. What we want to do is here, we're going to see this stuff here. Now we're going to go right from here. Notice that everything is the way it should be. You can see also the devices are on. Right now when I logged in, it did not demonstrate absolutely any device as a security device. And you were able to see several phones I could use to log myself in, right? At the beginning of this. Oh, so, I don't know. Instead of that, they asked me about a telephone number, which already was entered inside. Uh, but at this opportunity here, it would not verify one when logging out. Oh, there you go. You can even see that the telephone number nice. was Nice. You can already. see the date and time when Look I even that. added this telephone number. Since that was in 2020. 7, 2020. Look at that. And it just claimed a little earlier that the telephone number needs to be added, that the two-step verification is not on and shit like this. Man, who can understand this? Maybe, after all, I'm not so wrong. I gotta ask somebody to see this and see if the stuff I'm talking about is normal. Then what I'm gonna do is maybe I'll post this online. No, seriously, when everything is upside down, you don't know anymore whether you're wrong uh, or if somebody else is... I would is, just say, is, let's is, go, is dis baby. ...disturbingly wrong. So that's a good thing that I did cap this. Okay, uh, then in that case, that what I'm going to do be, is... Uh, this recycle bin and uh, lost this... Uh, there is no recording. such thing like a pause this thing here. here. Better so that I show some uh, passwords and stuff like this, because I don't want to ruin this video. Okay? So the only thing, the last thing for me to do here in this case is, but just basically the, do whatever already was demonstrated under this T2 company that I'm using as an internet provider, and that's basically take time and date. Okay, you can see that's a Sunday, February the 13th, 2022. Thanks for watching this video.